reporter. Her life has been touched by breast cancer since she was a very young girl. She, along with several members of her entire family, carry a gene that has a link to breast cancer. NBC4's Candace Lee has this woman's incredible story. Lisa Porter's first brush with breast cancer came at the age of 11 when her mother died of the disease. Then 15 years ago, her sister Christine died of it too. It became clear to Lisa after three other family members were diagnosed with breast cancer, she could be next. At that time, I did not know about genetic testing or the gene or anything like that. So just, you know, it just brought back everything from when my mother had passed away. Lisa, a mother of two young boys, began genetic testing here at Riverside Hospital. Genetic counselors spend time with patients mapping their family history of cancer. The blood test can take about two weeks to come back, an agonizing time for patients. Lisa tested positive for the BRCA2 gene in 2008, as did her older sister Joanne and her brother. The test left her with two options, do nothing and wait, or preventative measures like surgery to remove her ovaries and fallopian tubes. I was done having children and I didn't have a problem with that at all. And then they discussed having um, a bilateral mastectomy. Lisa went ahead with both surgeries. Five to 10% of all breast cancers are hereditary. And when a parent has the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene, there is a 50-50 chance it's passed on to a child. The test gave Lisa a little peace of mind that she will live to raise her sons. In Columbus, Candace Lee, NBC4. And that is why today is so important, not only to those breast cancer survivors here in cent Central Ohio. Hey, Marshall. <laughs> Marshall's standing outside our studios live with everybody who is part of this year's Race for the Cure. Go ahead, Marshall, take it away.